or you could say Bebo Albert. I'm here to do another painting for you this evening. And uh, we will do it as usual with my hand and maybe a, uh, I may actually use a, a painting knife this, this time along with it. But we will see what happens here uh, as we put on the paint. I hope you enjoy the painting that will be developing here. As I put the paint on, I'm gonna use some buff titanium to start with. And I'm not sure just how much yet, but I'm gonna start in the middle of the painting this time. As I put the painting on, I want to do sort of a circular motion with it to start with. How big it's going to be depends on the paint that I have here. I may have to add a little more paint, but this will be in the abstract. This painting will be in the abstract colors and all will be in the abstract as we put it on. Papa Lynn, Bebo Albert, uh, enjoys painting. It's one of my favorite things to do along with going to church. And as I put this on, I want to get all the paint off of my glove that I have on as I spread it on there. I hope you're, I, I'm trying to stand back out of the way this time because one day I did a painting and I was right in my own way. But as I paint this, I will try to stand back to the side where you can see me better do the painting. It just turned over on me, which happens. I hit the leg of the tripod, what happened? It rose on the canvas. The brilliant rose, I want to put it in this area. Not a lot of it, just a small amount this evening in the, the, the brilliant rose. Again, it is an abstract. If you enjoy the painting, I hope you will, or if you enjoy the video while I'm painting, I would appreciate your thumbs up or your thumbs down. I would appreciate uh, any comments that you would would give on the uh, on the uh, painting. Cause I like to, and I will uh, com when you comment, I will respond to your comments. Papa, Papa Lynn is not feeling the best today, but I wanted to do a painting, and when I do, that usually will make me feel better. It will cause me to begin to feel better. And as I've got the brilliant rose on, it is on, but I will mix a little of it with this. I'm not taking that glove off. I'm going to use this same glove, which it won't really matter on the what I'm doing is I put the acrylic blue here. And we move the paint down and around as we continue to move the paint. 
and it doesn't matter what happens uh, with the uh, brilliant rose mixing in with it because I will do some mixing after I get the uh, after I get the uh, paint all on the canvas. I hope you're feeling good today. My my body just ain't where it ought to be today. It's wearing out on me. But I'm still uh, poking along, trudging along, getting things done that I like to do. Just a little more down this side over here. Now I'm not going to put anything on the bottom there just yet. I'm going to wait just a little bit to put something on the bottom there. I have a reason for that and it will it will show up why when I when I come to that point. I was trying to think of a story to tell you while I'm doing this painting, but it seemed like I'm running a blank today. And if the Lord wants me to tell a story, he'll, he'll give me one before we get done. But I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing so far. It's, it's good for me to do this today. And I hope you will enjoy it also. Can you see me okay? I believe you can. Now I will use the, uh, the uh, knife to put on some paint now. And I'm gonna use some um, primary yellow at this time. And I put it over here on this side bring it down bring it down through there and we will be spreading more with the glove but at this time I wanted to use the knife for this yellow you get a little bit of the, the blue involved, you're going to have some green. And all, everybody knows that if, if they have, know anything about their colors, that you put a little get yellow and a little green together, you're going to come up, or yellow and blue, you're going to come up with some green. I hope you can see where I'm, what I'm doing because I have the yellow on right now. Maybe and bring it around up here, around the top. You went to church yesterday. Yesterday was a good day for me. I went to church yesterday and received a blessing from the Lord. As always, He always gives a blessing if we trust in Him. A little of that on the top again. I, I paint the edges of my paintings also. I know some do and some don't, but that's the way that I do it. I paint the edge just the same as I do the face of the painting. 
And if someone wants to put a, a frame on it, it won't hurt. They can go ahead and put a frame on it anyway. Got to move just a little bit more right in there. I'm going to like it. Hope you will. I think it's going to work out fine. That will use this color to bring that blue gray around here as it, some of it will be in the uh, yellow orca. We'll move those some more of the, the blue on down in this area. On around with it. I think that's about far enough down for it right the time being. But we'll see as time goes on whether we want to go any further down or not. And it could happen. Get some of that brown that's on or a yellow orc off of the back to put in with that blue. That looks good. That, that, that's a good combination right there. We'll let that now. Emerald green coming up. I will put this over here. Bump up there a little bit. Down on the top. A little long on top and a long in there. I'm gonna move some on back in there. And I'm gonna move some on over here. I might have a tall story to tell sometime later when I'm doing another painting. I expect to be doing paintings along and along. I have plenty of canvas. Lots of canvas. I have lots of canvas in there to use up. I'll probably have 30 or 40 canvases all ready to use. Yeah, come on there. Come on. He's looking good now. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to have to put a view of that over here. Let's put just a little bit over here. Now, what's he going to do with that? Well, we'll see what we're going to do with that in a few minutes. It won't be long till we get to that. <clears throat> How about a little raw sienna right here? I'm a lot, a little bit of raw sin. I think that's what I want. Yeah, just a little bit of raw sin. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not today, anyway. Not a lot today. Get over there. Raw Sienna. You need a little of it from time to time. I'll try to be feeling better the next time I paint for you. I tell you, old people. Old, pe old people just have to keep a pushing. There ain't no place to stop. I've been on this journey for all these years and I sure don't have no room to quit now. Yep, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put a little of that raw sienna over here. 
also. I know it don't make sense to me either. It just turns out. I'll just say it just turns out. It don't make sense how it happens. It just happens. These paintings just come out. You just start painting. You just start putting your paint on there. Don't worry about where it's going. It'll come out and it'll show up and it'll tell you what's, what it wants to do. If you're out there wondering about doing some painting yourself, just do it. Just get in there. Start digging in there and you'll find out what it is that you can do and what you can't do. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to start. That was one of my problems being so late starting to do art. I was kind of afraid I'd mess up. Well, so be it. You mess up. You may mess one up, you do. You don't have to keep it. You you can paint over it maybe with something else. You make it you may make it a, in a different direction. Ain't God good to us? He sure is. He's sure good to me. So many blessings again. Yeah, 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 Limbo do. Looking it's looking good now. I ain't done nothing in there yet, have I? You're telling me that? I hear you telling me you ain't done nothing in there yet. Well, light blue. I need some light. And where's my light blue? Yeah, there's my light blue. Now, I want to put my light blue all in this area. the top edge I don't know I just think a painting looks so much better painted on the edge also and just hanging there with nothing on the side I know it takes more paint and the stuff is expensive but if you enjoy doing it what, what does it matter if you get pleasure from it what does it matter I do get pleasure from painting. It's one of the joys of my life is being able to paint. When I was growing up at home, I, I had a desire to do things like in the, in the art department. But I didn't have any money to buy paint, didn't have any money to buy anything to paint on. And the only thing that I had to work with was uh, was just old boards that wasn't going to be used for anything else. It was going to be discarded. But I'd use those boards and sculpt out of them. I'd have just things built around that I enjoyed. Ah, but sometimes my brother would come through and he'd tear it down. But did I quit doing it? No, I kept on. I kept on keeping on. Ain't it good to be here today to feel the Lord's presence and to see the work being developed, seeing this painting come to shape. Now, what are we going to add to that? We're going to add some buff titanium within the lock. Now we're just going to begin to just texture it all over. And we'll see things begin to come out of it. But moving the paint around, we're texturing it. But that's what I call it. It may not be the correct the name to be used in, in painting, but that's what I call it, I'm te texturing the, putting texture on the paint, on the canvas, using the, uh, using the, uh, using the uh, knife to make the texture in the canvas. But 
but again, it's just a little bit dry. Uh, heat is just a little bit too much today. I'm going to have to use some titanium wire. It looks like I'm being only, it looks like I'm going to have to. That helps to move it around. Yeah. I needed that titanium. Titanium wire. I'm going to try to do another painting in the morning when it's cooler. And uh, the, paint, the paint's going to just do better in the morning time. Can you see it coming out now? I believe you can. I see things are happening. Don't forget the top blend. Well, it needs a little bit of this and a little bit of that up there. Don't forget it. I ain't going to forget it. Needs some work up there. Need a little work over here. Now I need to turn it back around. Hopefully I don't knock it off again. Things happen. No, no foul, no loss. It's okay. Now what do I want to do? Now, now, now. I don't think I need any more. I don't work with a knot. I'm too old. I won't need a whole lot of money. I got all I need to get by on. Oh, uh, yeah. We're coming alive now. It's a coming alive now. Coming alive, it's the beginning to it's the beginning to speak now. And the more we view it, the more we look at it, the better it's going to begin to come alive. that around. It will be done, I believe. finished. 